On today's episode of Keeping It Real, Cam Marston laments the fact that we can share some private and personal information with friends and family. But talk politics? No way. Absolutely no way. A guy I know recently had some serious surgery in a man's very tender area. The doctor told him how to treat it afterwards, and he had to get his wife involved to do it correctly. All very tender in very personal places. As he told me, he carefully picked the correct anatomical terms to describe everything. He's a close friend, and I know he's struggling. And I was happy he felt comfortable talking to me about such a personal matter. Strangely enough, though, we don't and can't talk about politics. His intimate personal private health issues? Yes. Politics? No way. Too personal. I spent this past weekend with my father and one of my brothers. We screamed at the TV as we watched college football. We talked about our children and their athletics and their grades in school. We talked about religion and the different things we're seeing reflected in our different churches. We talked about our plans for our future, as well as mistakes we may have made in our past. We talked about our hopes for our children. It was a nice weekend with family, sharing heartfelt concern for one another. I loved it. But we can't and don't talk about politics. It's too sensitive. I sat drinking beer with friends last week. We talked college football playoffs and how we hope that the people who decide who gets in will do the right thing and allow the teams who have earned it to enter into the playoffs to compete for the national championship. As we talked, a TV in the center of the room broadcast the latest from Washington. Accusations, falsehoods, attacks on character, derision, red-faced politicians spewing hate at each other, each accusing the other of cheating to win, Whatever the issue, the parallel between what my friends and I were talking about, hoping for leaders to do the honest and right thing, and what was coming from the TV was obvious. It was worthy of a comment. But we don't and can't talk about politics. Too volatile. Two guys sitting side by side on today's flight watched the streaming TV offered by Delta Airlines. One was watching Fox News, the other CNN. They didn't speak each declaring to the other which camp they were in by the TV station they watched, ignoring each other for the entirety of the two-hour flight. Leaving the plane, they made no acknowledgement of one another. Their body language said it all. We probably don't like each other. It bothers me that we can't and won't talk politics with strangers anymore, but it bothers me even more that we can't talk politics with our closest friends and family. It's disappointing what we've come to. All of us. Personal and intimate health issues are fine. Our private hopes for our future and our mistakes of the past are fine. But we only talk politics with people we know will agree with us. Is it fear? Wish I knew. But it's awful. It's just awful. I'm Cam Marston, and I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more of Cam Marston's commentaries, search for Keeping It Real on your favorite podcast app or find them on Facebook.